I tried, but look at my sweetie's up. I even thought we should even leave the tape. It looks nice like that. If I tell you, you will do the opposite. Don't quit. Do you know me? I'm asking you. What? Yeah. Uh -huh, don't quit. Now let's do this thing so we can go. Don't. I'll end up. Please lose this space. It's okay. Just flush with the door. Mm. Yeah, go like this. Keep it like this. Release the smoke. We'll go Friday. Why is it about laughing like this? It's like, Che, you're not helping me. Yeah, what? Well, you're welcome. That's impossible. You make possible. Hi, guys. Welcome to another vlog. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for always coming down to watch my videos, okay? I love and appreciate it all so much. And if you're coming across this face for the first time, please don't make it your last. Click on the subscribe icon and join this one at the family. And when you do the turn on post notification bell, okay? Welcome to my kitchen reveal. <laughs> Welcome to Hannah's kitchen, okay? Welcome to my extreme kitchen makeover on a budget. Alright? How you are doing? This is um my new paradise, my safe haven, you know, I've always been a lover of my kitchen because of the space and all, but I always dislike the colors of the cabinets. 
the colors of the wall tiles. But not really the colors of the wall tiles, but the cabinet color and the wall tiles complemented themselves. But they were too dark for me. Considering the fact that I'm a content creator, they were absolutely too dark for me. So I used to hate them so much. So my husband suggested we change the kitchen cabinets, you know, change the whole cabinet. So I'm like, let me change the kitchen cabinets. How about the walls? You know, so considering the price of everything in the market, I decided to transform it with my head first before I implement what I've decided on. Okay, so I decided to paint the cabinets and um, then put these wall stickers up. All right. When I decided to do this, I was like, if I paint it and it's not giving me what it's supposed to give, I will change it. So instead of just changing the whole cabinet, that would have cost me more. Then changing the cabinet so that I don't know if I'm making sense, but I just because I like the design of the cabinets. Honestly, I do like how the cabinets look, but I didn't want to change it, so I decided to paint it and then give it a new look. Okay, so I got a tin of oil paint for nine thousand naira. So you, I used two of uh, um, oil paint tin to change this from brown to white. Did this myself. And then I got the stickers for 7,500 Naira and I used a total number of nine to change all this you're seeing, okay? The wall stickers have, the ones on the wall, uh, they have this, the ones on the wall have this white and black design, while the one on the tabletop has a white and gold design with a touch of black. So yeah, that's all for the wall and the tabletop and cabinets. I painted it white. I decided to go with a white feature because I needed it to be bright. Okay, we're moving from dark to bright. <laughs> My house doesn't have uh, a store, okay, pantry. There's no provision. Well, it does have a pantry. I would call that a pantry, but we decided, I decided to put my refrigerator and freezer there. So instead of putting it in the kitchen, I decided to put it there. So no, I don't have a pantry. This is my pantry. Tada! <laughs> so India is where I keep most of my food, my beverages, my food, snacks. The ones that don't fit into containers, I store them in here. And then some, um, you know, Ziploc bags, disposable cups, seasoning cubes, uh, pasta. And as I said before, the ones that doesn't fit into a container, I store them in here. Then the lower part of the cabinet is where I have my two bags, that's yam, potato, and then I have my plantain, I put them in here. Then moving on to this other side of the cabinet, this is where I have, in fact, most of my cabinets don't really have anything in there. I don't really have much load in the kitchen. But this part of the cabinet has my vegetable oil, my red oil, and my crayfish. And then some other jars and bottles that I'm not currently using. Then this other part of the cabinet has my coolers, and then the lower part has my trays, okay, my chopping board, trays, and yeah. Then this other part of the cabinet has everything electronics, my mixer, my cake mixer, my blender, my toaster and sandwich maker, and then my hand grinder. And the lower part of it has my cups, that's my tumbler, my wine glasses, my tea cups, and that's it. Moving on to the tabletop, okay. I have this wooden spoon set, or no, I have this knife set, my old knife set, my wooden spoon set, even though I got a few new wooden spoons, and then I have these new sets of spoon. This set of spoon, I got them for 16,000 Naira, okay? I got these new sets of spoons because my old ones, let me give you a bit closely. My friend's spoon now has bubbles on it and obviously this is not healthy. And then this cooking spoon has changed from black to pamoy color. <laughs> so uh, probably it wasn't the original one. So I decided to change there. Then to use this colorful set of spoons instead. This set of spoons that give you everything it's supposed to give. And then I got this picker for 2000 Naira. Yeah, I didn't see an orange color, so I just got the one that matches my kitchen knife. <laughs> then moving on, these are my sets of my crates of eggs, um, 
my air fryer, electric kettle, um, paper towel. And then I decided to include this green table flour to have a bit of green in the kitchen. All right, so that was why I included this green table flour. Then moving on to our favorite part of the kitchen. Okay, this is our favorite part of the kitchen because it has the snacks, the easy to reach snacks, cereal, pasta. Okay, so this um, cereal containers, I got them for 4,500 Naira. I didn't, I wouldn't say I didn't have money to buy the other elaborate, uh, how do they call it? What's the word? I can't But the more expensive ones, the breakable, I think it's breakable, but we are cutting costs, okay? <laughs> so they are also having these purpose. Am I not the only one using it? Mm. So yeah, I got these cereal boxes for 4,500 naira and I got two of them. This has my pasta, macaroni, oatmeal, golden moon, cornflakes, milo and milk, alright? And then here yeah, I have my biscuits, my snacks, peanuts and biscuits. And then underneath it I have my seasonings, alright? I used to have this. This used to be my salt and pepper container, okay? So it's too big and I wanted something small and portable. So I got this instead. But this thing has my cubes in them. So I got this instead. Obviously, as I said before, I didn't buy the breakable ones because what's the need? <laughs> I know it has these aesthetic features, but come on, these have the aesthetic features as well. What do you think? <laughs> so I got these instead, and I got seven of them. I got this, I got this for 400 naira each, and I got seven of them. And then I, here I have my tea, my pili pili. My last video, that if you watch my last video, you know the secret behind this pili pili. My newest addiction. Okay, and then moving on to this box. This is why I have my tape seasoning powders. Okay, because obviously I can't open them and pour them in a container now. So I just put them in this box and keep it right here. Okay, so this box I got it for 4,000 naira in the shopping mall, Tropicana shopping mall. And then this storage cart I got it for, I can't remember how much I got it, but I got it in the shopping mall as well. In my last video, I'm sure if you watched my last silent vlog, you would have seen where I asked about the price of a storage container, like if that was the only one we have. Well, I was searching for a storage container at 10. So, moving on to um, the table. That play track used to be right here. This is where my play track used to be, but I decided to move it there. Cause you know, once you just wash the plate and it's dry, you have to travel all the way from there to there. So no, I didn't want to travel anymore. <laughs> so I transferred my plate rack from here to that place. Okay, that table used to be on this side of the wall. Okay, but but oh well. And then right there also, I have my um, pots, so my hot pots of wood. That's where I place my hot pots in case the whole of the burner. You know, sometimes when I do my monthly cooking. The whole bond is always active. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Underneath the table, I have my storage cards where I put my onion and then um, ginger and lemon. And yeah, then the other one is where I put my um, fish. It's dry fish. I store them inside the basket that is underneath the table. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, okay, no, I didn't mention it. Underneath my sink never had a cabinet covering it, you know. You know now people build houses when they put cabinet, they put cabinets directly underneath the sink. But my sink doesn't have a cabinet directly under it. So that also has been a problem for me. Plus the wall, plus the gas wire, plus the pipe underneath the cabinet. Now, but since I covered it with this wall sticker, it's giving. I don't want, I don't feel the nakedness of the underneath the sink again. Like, I don't feel the nakedness of the sink anymore. <laughs> okay? So there's no point putting a new cabinet there. Alright? And then also over here is, um, uh, my, I don't know what they call that thing, that thing did, but that's the sticker where I hang my, <laughs> my hand towel. You know, usually there's this, um, Towel holder that hangs from
you know, I actually wanted to get these style hangers that they hang um, on the sink, you know, on the cabinet directly beneath the sink, but I don't have a cabinet directly beneath my sink, so I just got a towel, um, a wall, this thing, this thing that you see right now, I just got it, <laughs> I don't know what they call it, for my, um, my hand towels, okay? Okay, then moving on to the doors. I was considering painting the doors white, but my husband said I shouldn't do it. Instead, I should paint the black door black and the brown door brown. But tell me what you think in the comment section. Which of the doors should I paint white? This one that connects to the house or the back door? Because I really am considering repainting these doors, one of them. So let me just give you people a quick tour of my kitchen. So yeah, that's basically everything. I did everything myself, painted myself, fixed the wall stickers myself. Yeah, my husband rendered a bit of hell to me, all right? But 85% of everything you see here is me, okay? So I'm super excited. You know, when you don't like what you have, you have to do something about it. My kitchen was always so, 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 so annoying. My kitchen was so, so annoying. But I had to do something about it. As I said before, I'm not 100% done with everything that I want to do. I'm considering getting a lot of things. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not done with uh, the kitchen. But I decided to film this video now because obviously I'll be filming content in the like probably cooking or something. So if people will come and see what the kitchen looks like differently, but I decided to make a video out of it. All right, so tell me what you think about my kitchen. Tell me if you love it, because I know you do. <laughs> I give myself a 100 over 10, 10 over 10 minus nothing, and that's a period, that's a capsule, okay? So thank you all so much for watching, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and yeah. Let me know what you think in the comment section and I'll see you all in the next video, okay? Bye!